All right, everyone, happy Bond Day. Yes, today is the deadline for Trump to post more than $400 million in bond. We're not exactly sure what's going to pop off, but I'm sure that it'll be very entertaining. As I pack up and get ready to go to Europe, I probably won't be able to do so much in coverage, although I'll maybe be able to cover it on the live stream. If anything major does happen, I will do like the breaking news thing, but uh, there are several possibilities. The first is Trump claims that he has the cash on hand to actually post the bond. It would be surprising if he showed up to the courthouse with uh, $400 million loaded onto pallets or something like that, and then forced uh, Judge Anger on to uh, count it by hand. Hey, make sure that it's all there, dude. Yeah, I'll be back you know, in a couple of weeks when you're done counting. That's a possibility. Now, there are so many trolling possibilities, by the way, for Donald Trump. That's number one. And he could pay it in pennies or something like that. I don't know where you'd get that many pennies from. You'd know, you have to clear out every bank in Manhattan, but imagine that they just dump all the pennies right in front of the courthouse or something and completely blockade it just with a wall of pennies. That's one possibility. And this is Donald Trump we're talking about, so we're not sure that he's not going to try to troll in some way. Another possibility is that he can come out and say, okay, go ahead and take Trump Tower. I don't give a damn. I'm not in New York anymore anyway, so you, know, you claim the Mar-a-Lago is basically worthless, so don't bother liquidating that. I'm gonna Later on, I'll go back to my 150-bedroom uh, home or whatever the hell it is, and <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I'll be hurting for certain. Uh, I'm, I'm so broke. I feel terrible about myself. Uh, Eric Trump, by the way, weighing in on this, calling it a witch hunt, which it is, uh, politically speaking. So the other possibility is let them liquidate Trump Tower, but then issue a public statement. Okay, they're taking Trump Tower, but I want it used as a homeless shelter. You know, I'm an older gentleman now, and I'm trying to be more charitable. Get right with Jesus or something like that. You know, you can appeal to the evangelical voters at the same time. And uh, But I want them to house, you know, two, 3,000 homeless people in Trump Tower and put in like a soup kitchen and an addiction treatment facility or something. And heads would roll over that. If Trump were wise, actually, if I could advise him, if I could get Trump to do just one thing, it would be let him seize Trump Tower, but you should have already loaded it with, like, homeless people. Boot out all the companies and shit like that that have offices there and turn it into migrant housing or something like that. What the hell are they going to do with the property? Are they going to kick out thousands of migrants or homeless Americans? Especially if you, you focus on the homeless, so most of them are native-born citizens because, you know, they don't qualify for the benefits that illegals do. Imagine how much ire the Democratic Party would get if they then chose to boot them back out of the property in order to lease it or something like that. Oh, man, it would be uh, it would be the best troll ever. It would be something it would be for the legend books. It'd have its own Wikipedia article. The Trump trolling incident 2024. Uh, it would be great. I don't think that's what he's planning though. I think that he is planning probably to continuously appeal, slow walk it. Um, etc. But he's, but he's sort of running out of time. I mean, technically speaking, he's required to post, again, over $400 million literally today. And it was explained by Eric Trump, and this is something that I tried unsuccessfully to explain to some TDS sufferers. When you're talking about that amount of money, the reason why a bond company won't cover that is because some of them aren't even worth enough to cover that actual cost. They don't have the cash on hand either. Virtually nobody has that much literal cash on hand. When people are super wealthy, their holdings tend to be tied up in something else. So they, I mean, the, he, Trump does have a lot of cash. He claims to have a half a billion dollars on hand. I highly doubt that. His money is tied up mainly in real estate. That was his big thing. So he owns offices and condom, condo developments and golf courses and stuff like that. It's an illiquid asset, which is that it takes a bit of time to actually liquidate one of those properties. Everything's contractual. And uh, I mean, think of it. Uh, let's say that you have a skyscraper in Beijing, a 40, 40 story building, and you've rented it out to a bunch of tenants. Under contract, you're going to have to get right with those tenants, potentially, and maybe not in China, but in a civilized country anyway, uh, when you transfer the property. Um, the property owner might want to make a bunch of changes to it or something like that. There, there is all sorts of conditions and stuff. No reasonable person is going to spend two, three hundred million dollars on a property without making sure that their army of lawyers dots all of the I's and crosses all of the T's. So you're talking about, I mean, a, a fire sale would take months. Uh, it could take years to negotiate the transfer of that property. 
And so Donald Trump's real problem is that his particular forte was illiquid in nature. Now he's got Truth Social stock, but he can't liquidate that because there's a six month holding period. And uh, that uh, probably could cover the cost, even if he sells half, you know, uh, and, and he probably will in the end, um, it'll take a lot of time. So they've put him in an impossible situation. It is definitely lawfare. It's absolutely persecution. He's got the means. And he can just say, fuck it, let them seize some random property. I don't even think that he would care if they tried to seize the Mar-a-Lago, although I'm not sure how a court in New York can seize property in another state, especially when the courts down in Florida are very much in defense of Donald Trump. It's going to be interesting. I mean, this is probably going to turn into a very chaotic situation. I don't think that it's going to be smoothed over and go normally. Uh, th that wouldn't be Donald Trump's uh, MO under normal circumstances anyway. Every time he comes out on stage, why do people watch him? He might say something, some crazy shit. It's usually not as crazy as the legacy media makes it out to be, but yeah, he see, there's some, uh, there are some, uh, some funny moments there. Little Marco and so forth. By the way, they were still talking about that the other day. Legacy media pretending that Little Marco is on the short list for VP. And Marco, uh, to his credit, when he was queried about Trump and his statements, he did do the fence striding thing. He, uh, he did not come out against Donald Trump. Uh, he's a Republican, so not coming out against Trump when he's criticizing Israel is definitely to little Marco's credit, actually. Maybe he's not little Marco after all. <laughs> he seems to have redeemed himself partially. I don't want him as running mate, but, you know, he seems he's better than before. He's learned and matured during his uh, political journey. So we'll see what abuse Letitia James heaps on to Trump later. Probably complain, oh my god, he hasn't posted the bond yet, and what are you going to do? Uh, are you going to drag him to jail? Because that would be one for the history books. That would just uh, it would embolden him further. He would love it. You know, he gets his three, hot, three hots in a cot, and uh, he gets to ham it up in front of social media. I think that that would backfire. And by the way, several articles by more wise liberals just today talking about this. If they seize his property, it probably backfires. Because that's going to be a big thing. I mean, it's going to be front page news everywhere. It's going to look persecutorial. And Donald Trump can come out and address the nation and say, Oh, look, uh, if they can abuse me like this, I'm worth billions of dollars. And I just made three billion more technically on paper with the Truth Social merger. If they can do this to me, what are they going to do to you? That would basically be his selling point. And the liberals, some of them don't appear to understand this. Letitia James is an entirely egotistical caricature. She literally ran for that position on the, uh, uh, on the premise that she was going to go after Donald Trump. It was her only selling point. She was like literally having like parties in the streets, dancing and laughing and singing about Donald Trump going down and shit like that. And I, I'm not being hyperbolic. That was her entire pitch for AG. If somebody like that decides to steal one of Donald Trump's properties, and especially if she goes after a property in a different state leading to further litigation potentially, uh, and especially if you revalue the Mar-a-Lago so your original fraud case had it listed at 18 million, which is totally underball, but then you sell it for like 300 million or something, which it probably would fetch, that's gonna look a little bit odd, I think, to the average independent voter. Letitia James' ego might get Trump reelected. That's the irony of it. When all of these liberals are celebrating her, the TDS suffers. Oh, Letitia James really going after him. She's doing the sassy thing, and he, she's, she's putting him in his place. Uh, yeah, that place might be the White House, asshole. That's about all. Peace out.